So if you want to see how you can easily fix any kind of game issue after the Sims 4 April 2021 update, then keep on watching. Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is so nice to see you. Today we're going to talk about the brand new update that may or may not cause you game issues. And so basically, if you want to avoid ruining your Sims 4 game after a free patch update as this one that has been recently released on the 27th of April 2021, you want to be more specific there are two helpful methods that you can follow so we are going to start off with the simplest one okay so the very first one involves you know removing some files from your sims 4 folder which i'm going to show you in just a second it also involves batch fixing some of your cc within a program called sims 4 studio as well as repairing your game through origin so let's get right into this so basically the very first method it's way much simpler because it doesn't involve any elaborate you know things to do so the first thing that i want you to do is to delete all of your outdated or broken mods from your mods folder you can find your mods folder in documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then mods obviously you can click on this type option over here just to modify the type of file that will appear right at the top so now that we've pressed on that button as you can see right here these ts4 script files have appeared right at the top and these are your mods files essentially so you want to take a look at a type file which needs to be the sims4 script file as well as at the date modified because if it's i don't know it was modified in 2020 or at the beginning of 2021 it's pretty obvious that your specific mods need to be updated okay now once you figure out what are your you know mods and what are the outdated ones make sure to remove them just select all of them right click on them and then delete them now the second step that you need to take is to download the latest versions of your mods and install them properly into your mods folder and what do i mean by installing properly your mods now if your mod has a zip or a rar extension it's pretty obvious that you need to use a file extractor program which is called WinRAR. you can open your downloaded mod with that specific program and you need to unzip your specific mod you know select all those files and then drag and drop them into your main mods folder okay do not use that folders now if this replace option shows up it means that you neglected to delete some files associated with that specific mod that you've recently deleted from your mods folder so please always 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 click on replace files just to make sure that your old mod is gonna be replaced by this updated one okay so always press replace now the third step that you need to take is to go to your the sims 4 folder which can be found again in documents electronic arts and then the sims 4 and you will need to remove these following files local thumb cache.package options or options that any as well as game version or game version that txt now once you've removed all those three files you will need to step four repair your game through origin it's very very simple and intuitive all you need to do is to go to your game library right click on your sims 4 game and then select repair step five you will need to remove your sims 4 your origin your steam or your ea beta programs from your blocked apps list within your antivirus or you will need to add those programs and i'm talking about sims origin or steam or ea beta to the exceptions or to the allowed apps list within your antivirus it really depends on what antivirus program you're using in my case i just have this exceptions tab over here and i need to add my sims 4 you know program as well as my origin program to the exceptions list essentially i'm using a vast if you're wondering but you might have a different antivirus program that has a section called i don't know blocked apps and uh, in this case you will need to remove your sims 4 as well as your origin steam or ee beta from that blocked 
apps list. I truly hope it makes sense. Step six is to open your game. Step seven, you will need to allow mods, CC, as well as script mods in your game. You basically need to take these two boxes over here and then make sure to click apply changes. Do not forget about apply changes because this is the button that you know that creates the whole magic that you know just uh, makes things happen in the sims 4 so do not forget about apply changes step eight is to completely exit your game do not minimize it just completely close it and then step nine is to relaunch your game and this list with mods and cc should show up and you can finally enjoy your game now uh, moving on to the second method which is a much more elaborate one this involves resetting your electronic arts folder and I know it might sound scary at first, but trust me, you won't lose any save files if you follow these steps exactly in the same order. So this will 100% fix all of your issues, whether we are talking about mods issues, CC issues, game issues, any sort of issues, okay? So this is my number one option for you is to reset your, your electronic arts folder. So in order to do this, you will actually need to go to documents and then you will see that you have this you know ea folder right over here electronic arts folder i just want you to right click on it select rename and then add the word old to this folder okay the final name of your folder should be electronic arts old now i want you to launch your game okay and then completely close it now if you open your documents folder you should see a brand new electronic arts folder so this is empty this doesn't have any saves any tray or any mods files included in it so we're gonna deal with that in just a second but right now i really want you to remove your sims 4 and your origin steam or e beta programs from your blocked apps within your antivirus or to add those to your exceptions tab we can deal with your saves files okay so we are gonna deal with that we're gonna open our electronic arts old folder then we're gonna go to the sims 4 and then we are gonna start off by copying all of our saves files okay so access your saves folder select all of your files right click on them and then we're gonna go to our documents folder to our brand new electronic arts folder and then the sims 4 and then saves we're gonna paste all of our saves and then we are going to do the same thing for our tray and for our screenshots files so all you need to do is to basically open your ea old folder go to the sims 4 tray select all of your tray files copy them and then go once again into your new electronic cards folder the sims 4 tray paste them and so on now please bear in mind that i didn't mention copying your mods files okay and i did that on purpose because some of your mods might be outdated so once you have copied all of your tray all of your saves all of your screenshots files do not delete your ea old folder instead i just want you to open your game go to game options enable mods and cc in your game apply changes completely exit your game and now please check if there are any updates for your cc or for your mods so i always 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 recommend you know checking out this website over here which is the sims 4 forum and basically every single time an update comes out you will find a whole new thread talking about the broken outdated you know updated mods or mods reported as fine by creators so please take a look at those and if you happen to find your mod within that list please just google it and make sure to download the the latest versions for your mods now install your updated mods properly and what i mean by properly installing your mods is that you'll need to unzip your mods if needed if they have a zip or a rar extension you will need to use a file extractor program such as 7zip or winrar just open your mod with that specific program this window should show up and then all you need to do is to select all of your mods files except for that top folder and then you will need to drag and drop all of those into your newly generated mods folder that can be found in that new ea folder so now once you have put all of your updated mods and cc into your newly generated mods folder into your main mods folder because i have mentioned this thing over and over again and i'm going to do it 
until forever so do not use subfolders do not place any cc or mods in subfolders because some cc or mods won't work properly or won't show up in a game at all so once you have installed your updated mods in cc i want you to open your game and then this list with mods and CC should show up. Make sure that everything works properly within your game. And if you don't encounter any game issues, you can obviously close your game and you can start adding your old CC from your old mods folder to this new mods folder in small batches. So that is absolutely key. Just cut and paste your CC in small batches, okay? And you want to open your game every single time you paste those just to make sure that everything runs properly. And if something goes wrong you can obviously try to identify the culprit within that batch and delete it from your mods folder it is that simple now if your game or mods are still not working i am going to give you some more valuable tips okay so please make sure that one you have properly reset your ea folder okay so you need to rename your ea folder in ea old and you need to generate a brand new folder you don't need to create yourself a brand new EA folder. So that should be generated automatically. Make sure that you properly installed your updated mods in CC. So if those come in a zip or a RAR extension, make sure to unzip those and make sure to place all of your mods in CC directly into your mods folder and do not use subfolders. Now certain mods do have instructions in regards to how to properly install that specific mod so please pay attention to those as well tip number four make sure that your sims and origin slash steam slash eab programs are not being blocked by your antivirus program tip number five make sure that you allowed sims 4 and origin slash steam slash eab within your firewall tip number six make sure that you deleted the game version that txt local thumb cache package as well as options that any files from your ea folder tip number seven make sure that you repaired your game through origin tip number eight make sure that you enabled mods cc and script mods within your game basically make sure that you ticked those two boxes and that you clicked apply changes and reopened your game tip number nine make sure that your date and time are correctly set so if you're using windows you can type in in the search bar right over here time and you should click on change the date and time i want you to set the time automatically and set the time zone automatically so make sure that you take those two boxes and then click on sync now just to make sure that your clock is properly synced because this thing happens to me on a regular basis and sometimes it causes me some game issues so make sure to sync your clock okay and tip number 10 make sure that you did apply batch fixes to your cc this option can be found in the sims 4 studio program so i'm going to make sure to include a little footage over here so you can actually see what i'm talking about i also have multiple multiple other videos that talk about updates about mods have been disabled issues about cc issues that do include you know useful tips in regards to updates and game issues so please make sure to check those out as well well, I truly hope you like this little video. It's a bit different from the others that I have on my channel because this is, I would say, much more straightforward. Don't hesitate to let me know in the comments down below what other issues you are currently facing or experiencing and I'll make sure to help you out to the best of my ability. So if you find this little video helpful, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz, hit a notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly means a lot. Thank you so much once again and I'll see you very, very soon with a brand new video. Have an awesome day just like you. Bye guys.